Where the fuck is my? Oh shit! Oh my god! This I I live for this. Everything I've done in my life, I've done to get to this moment <laughs> to witness the greatness of this. How are you doing, my friends? Look, okay, listen up, guys. Okay, listen the hell up. Okay, is it fashionably early? No. Is it fashionably late? Yes. Right, and that's what we're here for as well, because it is, of course, the giant fashion contest uh, for the Lunar New Year is what it is for the, the Luber of Cogs. This is a good name, actually. I like that. Melina will soon be joining me. She'll be the assistant. She'll be the helper, guys. The Omega helper, the Omega content overlord, guys. Ah, Maluna. Oh, there. I have I, arrived. I, I just exposed you in chat. Melina will soon be joining me, says the one who isn't on Discord yet. Wait, well, yeah, I didn't know you were here yet. I mean, you were inactive. You were basically well, you gotta, I'm dead. Whoa! And look, guys, you can clearly tell Melina is toxic, right? So she is going to yeah. roast your fashion. Look, if it isn't good, she's going to say worthless dog shit. It's probably going to be one yeah, of the yeah. things that she'll call it. So we have four categories. The Party Elegance Extravaganza, Canthan Echoes, Double Trouble and Cosplay. All the categories are weighted equally, right? So that, you know, you get the same reward for winning all of them, yeah? Okay? Uh, uh, except the, uh, yeah, the people's vote is a little bit different. And there are two places. There's a first and second for each category. You say what category you're entering, right? When you when you join in. So if you you know yes. when you walk up, you say, "Oh yeah, I am a cosplayer. I am a double troubler, right? Which is the team category. I am a Canthan echoer, which is the kind of weeb role play. Then finally, you have the party elegance, which is like you know eleganza, extravaganza. In other words, how many infusions have you got? Except not actually like that. It has to not look bad. Okay, very very important. So yeah, we have actually a very very spicy meme here, guys. Okay, Ipos will be bestowing a sixth category in a way, Melina. Do you know? Do you hear about this? There is a sixth category. No. Kind of. Right. A little bit. Right. Okay. Uh, he will pick the look he likes the most on EU on NA, the Ipos category, okay? Ooh. And whichever one he likes the most, right, is going to uh, get a get a free piece of artwork, a free commission, as it were, courtesy Dude. of the big man himself. Pog. What a god. Bow before Ipos. Uh, oh, do, oh, okay, so yeah, Ipos is doing one image, actually, not two. It's, 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 it's the best one that he likes gets an image. Easy. The best one in the entire contest game. There's like an extra half a prize. Okay, right. It is time. I declare the fashion contest officially open. Right, first victim. Get up here. Yes, indeed. Yay. Yay, indeed. Right, first victim, Yay. you're up. Okay, here we go. What's this guy doing? It's a char and he's got sunglasses on. Let's see. What, ooh, is he about to start role playing? I mean, he's RP walking, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's role playing. Slow okay. walk. He's yeah. He's, he's stopping actually. Wait, how old is this guy? Wait. Okay, guys. Let's start judging all those wardrobe malfunctions. Wait. Oh wow. <laughs> Whoa. He's actually judging <laughs> other people. What? Wow. Okay. He is pointing at other people, saying that their fashion sucks. Like looking at that Azura. Then looking at uh, Lucy over here, saying, "Yeah, that's no good." Wow, I mean, this is this is a little bit toxic. He's the judge, dude. Okay, he's actually role playing as the judge. He actually kind of has a bit of a judge look going on. I think that's actually kind of the point. Just look at you. Wow, and this is intense. Toxic cosplay. Okay, so he is, of course, the cosplay. He is the cosplay category, and there we go. So there, get him in there. I mean, he's waiting. Now he's out. He's already out. He's like, wow, I don't even want to be judged by he's you guys. He's a shy one. Yeah. He's a shy one. I and mean, obviously, you know, you guys, yeah, we got farmed by this char. I mean, it's a pretty standard setup here from the char. He's got the sunglasses. He, he's still going, actually. He's like walking to the back of the line and continuously role playing there. I mean, it's simple, but it does get a, get the point across of what it is, right? He's role playing as the judge. Okay. And there we go. All right. Next. Oh wow! I think we did. I think we got we got a another interesting uh, cosplay set up here actually, from this next contestant. Holy shit! That's a big fucking chair. What the fuck? Are you seeing that? A huge chair. Oh. And yeah, this. <laughs> this is so good. 
This is so good. That oh is... my god, you fellow scholar. Yeah, that is pretty good. This is, of course, a oh, Julius oh, Caesar. Yeah, he's even got look the scepter and the chalice. Okay, yeah, that. Dude, this is a this is a strong opener for this fashion con. This actually, this yeah, is so it actually is huge. Holy. We even have the Julius Caesar role play. He's got the laurels, of course, around the head. He's got the cape. The colors are right there for the Roman role play. Even, even the, the face is actually pretty good. Dude, dude, even the account name. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, what's even his account, the account name? name? Wait, oh. <laughs> Everything is on point. He's got it all on point here. What a gamer. He is actually a mega gamer. I mean, this is impressive stuff, right? This is, uh, this is good stuff. Socos is here actually wait where's the he needs to where's mike where the fuck is mike oh shit oh my god yeah hey buddy i think you got the wrong door the leather club is two blocks down wait mike's playing the audio he played the audio yeah <laughs> fuck you leather man maybe you and i should sell it right here on the ring if you think you're so tough oh yeah i'll kick your ass Someone yeah. clipped yeah. this, holy shit! Someone clipped this! I love this! Ha, yeah man! Let's go, what are you gonna have that, uh, leather stuff? I'll strip down out of this, and we'll sell this right in the ring. What do you say? Yeah, no problem, buddy! Yeah. <laughs> you got it! Get out of that, uh, jabroni outfit! <laughs> yeah, smart ass! Oh! And now they're stripping down! Oh, and then the penetration oh, from the God. exordium! I'll show you who's the boss of this gym. <laughs> this, I, I live for this. Everything I've done in my life, I've done to get to this moment. <laughs> to witness the greatness of this. Yes. Mark Wolf has been defeated. There it is. I love it. He's playing it as well. Holy shit. <laughs> Winner. God you guys tier duo it, there. And this is the new Mike command. This is the new Mike command, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I want Mike's legacy to be this. I want Mike to be remembered for his true worth. Big role play here. Like, known for the Peter Pan and Tinkerbell duo before. Now they're making it official with a Lunar New Year setup here. Let's see what we have. And by the way, the names are relevant. I'm definitely going to turn... We need to have the names here, actually, because take a look at this, guys. We have Yin Ooh. Pain and Yang Aeon. Ooh! Oh, Meteor Shower as well! But, oh, <laughs> there is no light! With, and he's going to say, like, without darkness. Oh, my God! Oh, this roll... Wait, oh! Oh, there it is! <laughs> and the laugh as well! That is huge! Massive role play there. So of course Aeon is the light and pain is the darkness. This is very, very pretty. Aeon's outfit. Holy shit. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's really making I, a good use of these weapons here. Like the weapons are obviously yes, highly yes. effective. Yeah. I love the details. Like everything is balanced, especially on like both outfits are very good. But I'm I'm obviously like looking at Aeons more because it has more white, so like the details are, are more visible and the textures as well. I like how everything binds together. Um, I love. Like, it. I joined. I joined just to say this role play is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, wait, it is what? cheesy. It is very this, cheesy. This is just. But, I, I'm like, nah. Like this is not okay. <laughs> this is very, very, very good. It's high level role play. It's yeah. very right, and it, you know, I, I think I actually particularly like Payne's outfit here, actually. Like he's kind of he's gone for almost like the the kind of like weird evil Canton spirit setup, right? With like the Silvari armor, like the trees yeah. coming off there, the blossoms. It actually reminds me a lot of uh, the the Shara in World of Warcraft, which is obviously kind of got some of the same inspirations. Uh, that uh, Kanda has in Guild Wars 2, you know, the black and white are there. They have, obviously, Payne has got more of the, more of the blackness, more of the void on himself, where Aeon has the I shining light. I like how everything light. is also very balanced on, on Payne's outfit. Like, he picked a side for the white details to be, and, like, he kept it, like, um... Just cohesive yeah. and, and, and consistent. I, I like that. And like, and like Aeon is illuminating him, right? You know, like, like it's, they're, yeah. they're, they're standing on the right side of each other. So the, the glow from Aeon is illuminating pain with the RP names there as well. I mean, wow. This is it's, peak ERP goals. Dude. It is, yeah. 
Are they waiting for the day where they can play, where Pain can play Mesmer in PvP and Aeon can play Ellie in PvP so they can have this matching RP there? Beautiful stuff. Very, very nice. Okay. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> Next! It's finally time. Oh. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna make sure a cat number limits high here, actually, because there's gonna yeah. be there's gonna be hardcore roleplay. It's another Shrek, actually. Shrek C is the name. Now this is forklift operators here, guys. So this is Tyrone, I believe, right? He's threatening someone. I, I, wait, how big is this roleplay gonna be? That's what I would know. This could be a massive I see, RP. I see a Lord Farquaad right there. Oh wait, down there. Wait, where is he actually? Where's Where's Lord Farquaad? Where is he? Oh there. Oh he's over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. Okay, okay. All right. Well, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dot, that oh is very God. good. Naked Char there with with the the black gloves and boots and doggy oh, with the bunny ears with the bunny ears there as well. Actual insane <laughs> RP here from Shrek from Tyrone. <laughs> Right, of I, course. I told you, yeah. <laughs> I told you I was right. Tyrone, my queen. Tyrone, my queen. No. Everyone. <laughs> oh no, he's role no. playing scenes from the movie there. Wait, are they gonna, dude, wait, are they gonna do like the whole Shrek? Oh, hang on. Wait, is everyone coming in? Oh, oh. Oh, oh my Fiona. God. That's very good, actually. Hang on. He points to, he gestures to Fiona. The romance is here. It's blossoming. The love hearts are there. And then on Shrek. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful there. Shrek and Tyrone. Some cheesy RP for, for yeah. Valentine's Day. I like that. Oh, but hang on. I think, yeah, Lord That's Farquaad's coming. got something to say about that. He's throwing toilet oh, He's throwing toilet oh paper! Insane RP! And look, he's... <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, that face is so good, by the way. What the fuck? That's so well oh done here by God. Tyrone. Right. Tyrone. Wait, he's, he's got his Trump as well. I oh like it. God. You're a monster. It and then amazing. the gingerbread. What is this? Wait, that, that is borderline. Wait, you... The way that looks is borderline offensive, by the way, actually. But you know what? We'll give it a pass because of the cosplay. He's even got the little the gumdrop buttons there. Oh Lord fuck God. No, you are. Oh, no. How is he so small? <laughs> Oh my god, I am That I is am insanely speechless. well done there. Like even the pattern, like the the purple pattern on the chest of the gingerbread man there with the nose, the red nose there. Dude. This is insane attention to detail here from Tyrone. And wait, dude, the I dragon cannot... is here as well. Cause now they oh have, dude. Oh, dude, this is on another level. <laughs> dude, wait. Guys, wait, where's This is how you <laughs> socially play this game. Yes, this is why I had faith in this category. Oh my god. What I the am fuck? Speechless. This is unbelievable. Donkey and the dragon making babies here. Wait, dude, this is insane. Wait, what's he done here? How has he made his character like not render? So it's just the sky scale. What? How do you even do that? Oh, he's just, oh, he's just, he's just, oh yeah, he's using the food to make himself transparent while he's on the mount. So it looks like just the dragon is there with Donkey. Fiona, and now, wait, Fiona's the, Fiona, this, no, this Fiona. is too much. This is too much, guys. This is actually too far. Perfect. Tyrone, we once again, breaks the meta. We can just end. Yeah, we can just end the contest here, honestly. Yeah. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. my God. Shrexy in the chat. All right. All get. <laughs> yeah. Shrexy in the chat. Everyone, like, get here so I can Shrexy you. Dude, this role play is on a completely different scale here. Wait, they're all, like, teleporting oh. out now. Wow. And they teleport out there with the that Charzuka. Was... And wow. Holy shit. That was a trip. That was a whole trip. Tyrone. I mean, dude, like, you guys Tyrone, saw. Oh, my queen. He obliterated PvP by innovating the Dragon Hunter meta. And now he annihilates the fashion contest with some of the most impressive roleplay we have ever seen. I mean, that was very good. That was, I, that was like the whole. I'm going to say. The whole movie. That's even wow. better. That's even better than his original RP with like the Star Wars thing, right? That's the end of the line. And that is the end of the EU fashion contest there, guys. All right, we're set. Aha, Melina has now arrived. In that case, we might as well just get down to business. So line up and we're just about to get ready. We're about to get started here. And it looks like we're going to be starting. I have no idea how he has the... I am so curious, like, well, I'm gonna ask this guy, when we get there, when he kind of bursts out of his fucking ice cube over here, I wanna know 
like how old this character is because how did he get this seriously like how did he get this account name i don't know guys but anyway right Let's go, guys. Let's rock and roll. Let's initiate. I declare the NA Hardstuck Lunar New Year Fashion Contest officially open. You can still join because we actually don't have a crazy amount of people here. So you can still hop on board there, guys. Like, just join the back of the line if you're arriving now or if you arrive a little bit later on here in NA. But let's get this going, guys. Initiate. And this time, uh, Jester is joining me, but he has got a significantly higher pitched voice now. So let's go. That. It's pretty fucking good, actually. So, uh, look, if, for those of you who have never played video games before, this is Arthas. Oh, and then he turns into an ice cube there as well. He's now the. Oh, is he actually cha is he actually changing? Or is he going? Oh, did he just go for a blue eye? I think he might have changed his eyes to go blue cheer. there. Yeah, he has now, of course, got the helm of. Do that's actually not a bad. That's not a bad attempt at the helm of domination, actually. Uh, to be fair, for the Lich game. Yeah, this is uh, from Warcraft Three, obviously, right. Uh, it is actually pretty decent. The hair is good here. You know, obviously have the you know the blue glowing eyes. Helm doesn't really quite work. Obviously, it's a bit too sparkly for the Lich King. But you can definitely see where going. That you've got like the big, like, long black frayed, uh, flowing cape there. The sword is actually pretty frost morny. Actually, it's a pretty frost morny sword. Of course, the double handed sword there from Arthas in the Warcraft years, and the, the general like, very heavy set death knight armor. Actually. Pretty good. Big cosplay. And there it is, guys. Found Angel's movie career. Mr. Angel. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? All right. That's a good start, actually. A good cosplay there. I like it. Who is it? It's, uh, wait. Who, who, is it this? Wait, who even is next? I can't even say it. It's this guy, I think. Right. It's that guy. Yeah, it's saved. It is saved. It is Relava Crown. Oh, is it like a, is it a combo? Wait, is this a combo, actually? No, wait. The, oh, oh, the roll. Okay, the roller is first. Wait. What what is that? What are we dealing with here? Is this a, is this a, a, a oh a delicious looking limestone rock? Mmm, nice. Uh, w must be a real vintage year. Wait, he's eating this rock. He's consuming. Holy shit! So he's a naked Norn, fully naked with the stone infusion. Like what what is he going for with this though? I mean this this is not really fashion so much as he's just like naked. They look like big, good, strong hands, don't they? That, that, uh, I always thought that's what they were. Okay. I am... Cosplay. Wait, who, what, what is he cosplaying as, guys? Like, what, what is this? You have to forgive my ignorance. Is this like a... Yeah. Wait, rock by... It's, it's the, double ignorance. Oh, wait. Apparently, this is rock. Wait, what is rock? Is this anime, guys? Right, hang on. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I'll give him that. I will, I'll definitely give him that. He is... Uh, he is a, he's some kind of like, almost like a, a troll from the Terry Pratchett universe, I guess is what he is. So this is what he's supposed to be. Oh, uh, yeah, he, yeah. Uh, I like this actually, like he's actually put effort into this, like the kind of point of his head is supposed to be the hair, right? Like the hair is supposed to be the point and he's got the, he's got no shoes on, right? So you can see the feet, uh, there of course oh there as god. well. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, he goes for the sit, so he's in the kind of like the same pose as the rock butter there. Okay, I like it. All right, good. Wait, Mike, really? Non male feet? And you're putting feet. Cr I mean, look, Mike, you disappoint me. All right, next. All right, Domo Ooh. King has arrived. Ooh, and once again, Fli Oh, oh, Jade Legion. Dude, imagine if they're actually. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's actually role playing as like a new form of corrupted char that will come with Guild Wars 2 end of development. This is very original. That I is love original. This. Yeah, that's nice, actually. That's fire. Jade weapons. Ooh, look at the jade hammer. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. Is it a yeah. hammer or a mace? It's a mace. Know. Yeah, it's a mace. It's like a little bit of a bit of jade attached to like a dragon tail. Yeah, so you've got, you're Dude, mixing it all in. this is on point. Oh, that is it's very it's on so point, good. actually. This is extremely on point, actually. And if you look at it, like the actual crystal parts are not even that many. It's uh, the It comes like from, from the mist, blossoming mist shard pants and the glacial gloves, whatever they're called. But the rest is just like good color scheme basically yeah yeah yeah. 
This is very, very good. This is very impressive execution there. He's got like, even the horns are correct. He's got yeah. the back piece there with a little bit of jade thing on there. And it kind of all blends together with the dark, uh, the dark very color good. of like the chest. And all that. This is actually, and all, all the pieces work really well together as well, actually. This is a yes. very yes. cohesive. Dude, like honestly, if I was EU, which I am, you've got to get worried now, guys. Like NA is actually coming out swinging right now. They are coming out swinging. Lunar New Year Careful. is here. Very nice. Excellent work there, my friend. Okay, next. What, that is... What, what is that? That is... That is, uh... An interesting contrast. I'll give you that. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, God. The stylish shoes on Char. Oh, God. I am very confused and... I don't know. I mean, this How do you is feel about this, th this is an abomination, right? Let's be honest. I mean, like the it's got the char clown shoes on. For some reason, it's got like a forty k chainsaw as well. There's a flower. Yeah, that's there's a pink the halo. For you. I mean, like th this is just here to be as kind of out there and as crazy as possible. I mean, like, this is this is definitely going in the purge box, right? Like the cleanse. That, that's the thing that AFKs and divinities reach. Someone in chat said. This is the thing that follows you around in Divinity's Reach, though, right? That's not... Okay. They don't AFK. They just follow you around and get you. That's kind of a cute Aureen, though, actually. Look at that. Is it supposed to be role-playing as the Aureen? Is it... Are they supposed to match? Like, the, the char and the Aureen are the same? Uh, you wouldn't justify the, uh... The flower backpack and the chainsaw. I mean, this... And you get the bonk. This is some kind of horrific fever dream. Like, I mean, look. I Look, look it... Here's the thing. We've talked about it for a long time. So what I can say is it's thought-provoking. I'm not sure if the thoughts it's provoking are particularly good, but they are there. It definitely makes you think twice if you're actually sober or not. That's for sure. Okay, next! Ooh, I think we actually have a roleplay coming through, guys. We have a double here, right? They are now up, coming in on the springers, bouncing in. Take the lightning hammer just oh, in case. You never know. Woo! And it's double Azura... Full cute setup. Oh my god. This is, um... That is so cute. Yeah, it's... It's, 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 so... it's Ice Climbers, yeah. This is Ice Climbers, right? Like, Ice Climbers roleplay? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I would love two uh, plushies like these ones. Holy yeah. shit. This is so cute. Yeah, it, it's it's effective. It, it, it's actually very representative. Like, going with the scrapper as well, like, for the hammer. The hammer is correct, too. Like, the hammer is very, very accurate. The actual entire outfit... Is incredibly accurate. They, even, really good. they even have like that the little really mini. Good. They have the mini freezy hearts there as well. That's very very sweet to have that. And and also they were actually jumping up and down in unison, which is again like how they. I, I think a lot of people will probably be introduced. Will probably know these guys through Smash. Actually, I would imagine. And they actually kind of play like that in Smash. Like they kind of act very much. Well, they're obviously the same character. They're one character, oh right? And they God, kind of act in unison. These are so cute. So yeah, that is pretty cute stuff. That no, don't shiver. Oh my God, no, they're shivering. That's just Aww. sad, right? They're very cold. Aww. It's fine. I'll put lava font. I'll warm them up. There we go. Ooh, yeah. what is this, actually? So I, I'm not sure if this is necessarily anything specific, but it does look rather cool, actually. We have a... It's an engineer, Norn Hollowsmith. Ooh. Honestly, these... I am torn. I am torn oh. because I, I like how the pieces bind together, and I, I... Like, the color scheme is interesting. However... It's like two different or three different concepts clashing. You have a lightsaber. You have the helmet, which is uh, very steampunkish, and then you have the the tier three Norn shield. I forgot its name. Uh, the restored thing meme, uh, which is like very magical with runes and shit. You have the metal plate from the chest piece, and then you have. Well, he's so very like metallic overall. Let... I think he's like very metallic, right? Mm. He kind of has like his mm. his uh, you know his sabatons, the feet. They're very metallic, like the helmet, the shoulders. Yeah, it's, it's all steampunk. The other, it's yeah, all it's steampunk. Like, I think I think it's like very steampunky. Like e e even yeah. even the sword mm. can like kind of fit into steampunk. I feel like right, like yeah. I mean, uh, the, the sword is steampunk. If you actually look at the sword itself, it is inherently steampunk. Yeah, you've got some kind of like little gizmos like wiggling around here, yeah, right? On the it's, on the it's, sword, it's, it's a very well built look. Like yeah, obviously there are limitations in the armor pieces he can actually use, particularly on medium, because medium does not have a lot of heavy what heavy looking armor pieces but like he's actually put together the pieces he has really well and they all the dyes i think the most important thing here is the dyes they all have that same shade 
which is actually a really impressive yeah. thing. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the one thing I would say is like is that the the weapons don't actually necessarily match with the armor because he has this dark blue on the armor, but a light blue, uh, you know, shield and sword. Like, what do we what do we think about that? Uh, well, it looks like he should maybe I mean, like lighten up a little bit, you know? No, because hollow, hollow forge. That's hollow true. Forge has that. Like, yeah, hollow forge is a bright blue. That's true. Um, it is bright blue. But so, but I mean, surely his armor elements. should also be bright blue. No, just... no, 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 not at all. The, the the bright blue is the holographic elements, right? So he's got holographic elements on his weapons and his shield, but he's and he not is a hollow. On his armor. All right. Yeah. Okay. Really... I'll let him get away with it. I'll let him get away with that. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That wow. is that's yeah, something that's... right there. Oh my god. Uh, is oh this my goodness. Like, um, okay. Are those like the triumphant, glorious thing meme from Word v Word? Because I don't know, I'm not familiar. This with is a man who's got a lot of AP, right? He's got the AP yeah. back piece there. That is, you don't see very often, actually. Almost 40k. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh nearly 40k. I mean, not having 40k AP though, cringe, right? I've got to say, right? You know, you, you know, you got to have the 40k at this point. He's missing only six. 60, yeah, uh, 67, yeah. He needs 67 more so AP. Should have got that while he was waiting in line, I guess. But yeah. it is still pretty cool, it's a actually. Very, I yeah, like yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It looks good, I actually. Really like it. You know, it's it's actually it's it's very easy to go overboard, right, with a lot of the glows and stuff like this. But this no, actually like, somehow I, isn't overkill. It's um, it's very balanced. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, 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 really yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, this is, this pretty is a cool. good look. This is a good look. It is solid, you know? Like, I mean, it's a shame he can't see himself in the mirror because he's only got one eye. So, you know, it's, you know, his, his vision is impaired. But... Relatable. That's okay, right? <laughs> yeah, the yeah the emo hair for me is kind of like, you know, what's going on there? And I guess he is kind of dressed in a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of black going on here. So, you know, my soul is darkness, but my hair is light. I guess that's what he's going for there, you know, with the... The glowing halo ring around his head there, and of course the glowing thing there too as well. I, I really like it. I like the color scheme yeah. as well. I like where yeah. he decided to place that golden and and that, that kind of like brown color. It's um it overall like it's detailed, but it still looks subtle somehow. I like it. Alright. That is the it's end. That is the end, guys. We got five minutes left on this map. And that is going to be the end of that. Our entrance I'm have been done, votes, and we will prepare the votes. Also, I actually do want to say this, guys. Also, thanks for the bits, by the way, Mad Reversa. 100 party bits there. I want everyone right now to get a clap in the chat. Maybe like a Pepe clap, you know, like a you know a bit of those like little green hands there, or a clap in the chat, guys, uh, for Melina. Melina actually masterminded a lot of this. Uh, the fashion contest, like, organized it. Got, kind of came up with the conceptual Aww. ideas for the rules there. And, of course, co-hosted it with me as well. And didn't she do a fantastic job, chat? That's right, guys. So, next time you see Melina posting something about this, uh, Maluna currently, okay, in, in the Discord, you will know that it will be a quality <laughs> and good event. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more from her in Hard Suck in the future. So get a clap there. At Melina in the chat, Thank you guys. For coming, guys. Let's I go. Mean, that's why we. That's why we enslaved her, right? Yes, true. Like, valuable you know, asset. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. valuable asset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's all we see, right? Just another number, another yeah. number on the spreadsheet of Hardstuck. That's all it is. But of course, exactly. she did a fantastic job. We are jesting right now. She is a highly valued member of the community, guys. But, you know, on this note, thank you guys so much for showing up to our fashion contest. It was awesome to see such a great reception here, actually, uh, with everyone here today, like, in the chat. Everyone, like, showing up in the game as well and taking a look at each other's outfits and also demonstrating some fashion sense of their own. It was really, really cool. And I think it's a really interesting part of Guild Wars 2 and a really fun aspect of the game that we get to exercise here as well. Like, if you are interested in that kind of event and you want to see more, then go ahead and join our Discord. Exclamation mark Discord in the chat. We've been spamming it very, very hard, but we know that it can be hard to click the link to join, so we will put it there many times for you, so you really, really can't miss it. We do all sorts of things at Guild. We do fashion contests, uh, raid training, raid giveaways. Uh, you would do daily ATs, like PvP in-houses, and hopefully some World Plus World stuff those are, and also open world gaming too. We've got to get, we've got to get some open world stuff going in, actually. We haven't done any, like, open world uh, special stuff for a while. Uh, we kind of, like, the Drakkar demoralized us because it was, like, so RNG-based and annoying to do, but we've got to come up with a good idea, actually, um, to get some open worlds of going there as well in the immediate future because I actually really like the open world. It's like very, very good for community building and all that kind of thing. So yeah, get ready.